These characters are within the top tier echelon of the uh, oh, yeah. characters. Whether you want to put them as top five or not, it is undeniable that they are some of the best characters in the game. And Korean definitely are used to fighting matchups. And some very capable hand fighting here. But, you know, this is one of those matchups where if PKN is able to space out Korean, it can be kind of difficult for the space to get out of You know, we've seen, like, Photo Bannon just, you know, playing with super patient against the space animal. Mm -hmm. But, you know, if Wolf gets in, it's going to be pretty hard for or for BKN to really do anything. Both the reach it, the, 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 the landing with the post match as well. Now Korean is again big lead. For Korean, the one thing I'm noticing that he's actually really doing is he's pretty solid at understanding the level of spacing that you kind of have to have against Lucina, right? You, Lucina does have range, but you also have range yourself. You have forward tilt, you have, you have blast, and you have moves to actually stuff like this. Unfortunately for BKN, man, he kind of just lost himself there. I felt like he might have lost the jump, unfortunately, but then it happens. Oh, oh, get up oh. Okay, he's got alive. great DI. You'll still survive. Okay, that that was something else right there. Just getting up into the forward smash, getting up into the forward smash, and getting up into the computer technology. Problem really happened, but it's okay. Man. It's we're back. We're back. We can't see. Technical it. difficulties. I mean, hopefully, it's not technical difficulties for Korean because look at how the damage he's continuing to Dragon do against Bikan. Yeah, he's gonna drag them right back to the blob. Towards the right side of the stage. Oh, you went a little too no with that there, but I respect it because he wanted yeah. to make sure he was going to stuff and see for the recovery. Yeah, if it connected, you know, he would have been sitting three stocks to one right now. Even without it, he's still on even stocks with a huge percent. And no shortage of kill options against this. We'll see him right now. Looks for the back air once again. He's going to the both back outside of the forward air. It's really well for him to do that because that's what the, he kind of like, like you said, right? He stays himself on that one because he knows Lucina might be landing with an aerial because at this point in the stage, right? Lucina wants to fight back for the ledge, but what he should have been looking for is come back on the stage, buy for center stage, and then retake the neutral from here. Unfortunately, kind of he was a little bit too overzealous. I do, I do see the sword signal, man, but if I were you, man, I'd be looking to see what, what the neutral is here against Wolf, because so far, Korean kind of has an unlock. Such a lead. All right, this time, he's not going to neutral get up. Really good opportunity. I was, was going to be so excited if he got up and play again. And being a coach, sometimes you never make the same mistake for us. You're right, you're right. He knows what to look out for. Right? The right now, he's going to right to the ledge. Look out for what BKN's going to keep him on the ledge with, but no, he scouts out and gets back into center stage. Another neutral lead for him. Oh, nice. I like that. Use the empty hop and try to see if the fact that we've seen him have been going well. Great opportunity. He know that the fact that he wanted to snuff that low recovery, but Karina was not giving him the opportunity. And again, a great opportunity to go for forward smash. Because like, once again, he's kind of cut on to BKN's um, option, especially the fact that he's been swinging in the forward air. Here's the back air. Swipe this man to the left side. I never liked him anyways. Karina with a fresh stock. All right. Neutral, he caught out big BKN jump. But he's just going to land back on stage, holding shield and just throwing him back off once he's with the photo. Oh, oh the photo. good spacing too on that one. He, wanted, he definitely wanted to see uh, the fact that Lucina might have been holding on to like a little bit too long, especially with high percent. There's the Nair, snuffs up the recovery here, and once yeah. again, space forward tilt for the victory. Yeah, Beacon not snapping the ledge right there, just gives Korean all the time. Oh, he has to a so lot very long range move is going to be able to seal that one out. Yeah, and it's good stuff for him to understand the spacing as well. But, oh my god. I call it an exhibition match at that point. Oh, yeah, you do. <laughs> Sorry, guys. We're, we're watching some crazy. That's the beauty of WNF, honestly. There's so many games going on here. Yeah. There's so much action here at Wednesday Night Fights. Oh. It's literally a brawl to be had. So, definitely, if you guys ever have the chance to attend some, WNF. Something exciting going on with our very own game. You see what character Koreans locked on to? Fox. The Fox. The man believes. I, I want to look. I don't want to call him a fraud, but I'm letting you know, man. This man actually believes because he has a game up against Three, him. Two, Just saying. One, Just saying, man. Go. If he lost game one, he definitely, he definitely would have seen that that uh, that little pick still stay on, I mean, on deck. But hey, man. Sometimes I I would do the same thing if exactly. you know, I'm doing my my smash for me just got buffed in the last patch coin. Mm -hmm. So you know I've been trying to play it a little bit, and you know it's the same thing where I'm not gonna put the same time. I want to make sure I have this game on the clock before I you know, potentially lose for trying something. But you know, now that he has the lead, he has the wiggle room to potentially lose the game, preferably win it, but get the practice with the box. That's where, that's where you find it a little more scary, right? Where you have enough. That's that's the cockiness of somebody. Like, I, mean, I have enough wiggle room to lose this game with Fox. The real, the real thing here for Korean, though, he's living his life vicariously, he's living the dream that Fox is the powerhouse that he was back in Smash 4. Some people do like Fox still, some people don't. I feel like he's almost a shadow of a form himself, but that forward smash did not look like a shadow, it definitely looked like a stock of the 
Oh, nice saw the recovery. Goes for the 45 degree Whoa. angle on that recovery as well from Firefox. Yeah, not snapping onto ledge, but no punish either. I'm seeing BKN go from Ulog to Swordsman. You gotta, you gotta pay attention to the fact that, you know, man, you have some end lag. You gotta be careful. You can't just be swinging the sword everywhere. Look at that forward tilt coming on the platform. Why would he be walking down below the platform? He wants arrow approach. Sorry, BKN. You gotta stay calm and look at your opponent's movement. Their approach oh, is game Oh, him with the nair. Yeah, if you back here, he's gonna snap out the dash attack to have from Korean. But even then, he still has such a lead here. I'd like to see BKN kind of stand and still a little more reacting to Korean. He's getting paid out a lot by Fox's double jump and then ball speed. Where he looks like he landed on you, so you throw an option, but all of a sudden he double jumps and teleports away from you. Nair into the back here is going to take that stock away from BK. Two stocks for one with Korean. Look at the speed of his movement. I must lie, I'm liking it very clean for Korean. Yeah, it looks like he's definitely been at home practicing the character when he back up to speed. You would, I mean, as you expect, right? Some players never really truly dro really drop their favorite character, right? I mean, you may not pull him out of bracket as much as you want to. But every now and then, dude, it just feels, feels good to just let the character that you want to believe in exactly. breathe, right? And this is a showcase for Korean to just put his box into practice. Down Great opportunity it. from the down to fall the back right, especially on the platform. Look, okay, so that dash dance, very questionable, but I, I respect it, right? He wanted to psych out Korean and let go of shield and then come back with a punish. The problem was, like, I felt like Korean already knew, like, he's looking for my space to make error, and at this point, I'm looking for him to make the error first. Yeah, and I like that upbeat that Korean just did right there because he can drop down double jump forward it, which would have caught the side beat, but instead Korean stalled it at the same angle with the startup of the Firefox. Unfortunately, not going to ledge right there. He's going to trade with the as well. Nice, using that double jump to actually probably stall an aerial. Might be going for back air or nair. Really good opportunity. If I were, if I were BKN, anybody who's watching back home, if you're seeing Fox going for that double jump, the next move to be followed up is usually back air or nair. Yeah. Especially with how fast Fox speed is as a fast faller. He teleports he, down on you. Yeah, he teleports down on you with an aerial, and at this point, that's your telegraph opportunity to send. You know, if he's going for that double jump, he's he's following up with back air or nair. Yeah. So I need to understand. That's what you guys should be. If you're watching.